Hi Brolis, Marvin here from TechBeerall.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy beerals. And today I just want to share with you a quick unboxing and installation guide for the Arctic Freezer 2 360mm AIO Revision 3 with a fix that essentially makes it the Revision 4. So basically, this is for those who have a Revision 3 variant and having difficulties with installation on the AMD AM4 platform and for those who have the latest Revision 4. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so before we proceed with the installation guide, let's do a quick unboxing first. I got this from Lightroom Corp, which is the official distributor of Arctic products here in the Philippines. You can purchase this from Digital Walker and other partner stores. I'll put some links below so that you can check them out. The packaging is pretty good with details about its key features around the box, and what I have here is the Revision 3. Inside the box, we have a small accessory box and the Arctic Freezer 2 360mm AIO itself nicely protected with plastic and the pump itself also has its own cardboard protection. As you may have noticed, we don't have any user manual because it is available on Arctic's official website with videos and diagrams. Now, inside the small accessory box, we have all the mounting screws and brackets for both Intel and AMD platforms. I'll pop the complete specifications and compatibility information on the screen so that you can check it out. All the mounting brackets, back plates, and screws are made out of durable metal. We also have support information paperwork, a QR code for the online user manual, some spacers, and the Arctic MX4 thermal paste. At first look and touch, the first thing that strikes me the most here is the robust build quality of the materials used for the Arctic Freezer 2 360mm AIO. The parts and components definitely feel durable. And what I like about this AIO is the quite unique design for the pump with a dedicated VRM fan while maintaining a relatively slim footprint and a form factor that breaks the norm compared to most basic circular and polygonal form factors. It also features the Arctic P-Series high static pressure radiator fans and the radiator itself is quite chunky and massive and having a larger surface area for a radiator is always a good sign. I just wish the tubes can be rotated for easy installation and orientation. Okay, so with the unboxing and parts overview out of the way, let's finally move on to our installation guide. Alright, so just a quick background so that you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. The Arctic Freezer 2 360mm AIO Revision 3 that I got came with a different mounting bracket and set of screws for the AMD AM4 platform, making installation impossible. Arctic then sends a new set of screws and mounting bracket to fix this, essentially making it the current Revision 4. But as far as I was informed, all retail versions will come with the correct mounting accessories, so this could also be a guide for both Revision 3 and Revision 4. So for context, this is the Revision 3 mounting brackets. Notice that they have three holes, and then we have the standoffs and these tiny screws to secure the mounting bracket on the standoffs. The problem here is that the tiny screw doesn't really fit well inside the standoff, essentially making the mounting bracket loose. Now this is the new set of mounting brackets, spacer and screws, and notice that the new mounting brackets only have two holes on them. Finally, for installation, instead of the screw standoffs, we're going to use the spacers, and this set of longer screws and the new mounting brackets. First, install the spacers, and if you haven't noticed yet, we also use the default backplate of this AM4 motherboard. Now, this next step is very important. Notice the difference in terms of the shape of these mounting brackets. This one is thinner, and this one is thicker. The thinner one should go here on this side. Now, full disclosure, at the time of filming this guide, I wasn't able to find any available updated user manual, even on Arctic's website, so I had to do some trial and errors to make sure that the CPU block perfectly aligns with the processor. But when I was finally editing this video, I checked Arctic's website and they now have an updated installation guide for this Revision 4. And apparently, what I use on this guide is the standard AM4 mounting as seen on this diagram. But there is also this offset mounting option for the AMD Ryzen 3000 and 5000 series processors, so take that into consideration. Now, after securing the mounting brackets, all you have to do now is install the other mounting brackets on the AIO pump itself, line it up properly, and secure it with the thumb screws. By the way, you may have noticed that I didn't add any thermal paste because this is just an installation guide. Again, what I did here is the standard AM4 mounting, and as you can see, the CPU block perfectly aligns with the processor. But if you want to follow Arctic's offset installation, you can do that as well. They claim that it is better when it comes to aligning the CPU block with the hotspots of the Ryzen 3000 and 5000 series processors. And with regards to the Revision 3 issue when it comes to incompatible mounting screws for the AM4 platform, again, I was informed that the Riddle packaging will have the correct set of mounting accessories, and if case you don't have that, Arctic will be more than willing to provide it to you. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. 
I'll also post the link to the official revision 4 installation guide on Arctic website so that you can check it out. Huge thanks to Lightroom Corp for sending this in. This is available at Digital Walker and other partner stores. Check out the links below to learn more. Subscribe if you are interested to see this on a PC build soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day guys. You're awesome.